Hi, Phil Aston here from Now Spinning Magazine. And this is another video in my series looking at the breakdown between CD sales and vinyl sales with the number one album in the UK album chart. And I do this because one of the key things behind Now Spinning Magazine is it's for collectors and people that still buy physical music. And I think many of us are interested to know what's really going on when all of us, whether we're in Facebook groups or on YouTube or on the Internet, we're constantly seeing things telling us that no one buys CDs anymore. No one's interested. In fact, no one buys any physical media. And you can see from behind me, I'm a fan of vinyl albums and CD. And I have been for a huge chunk of my life. And I'm still really passionate about collecting and talking to collectors and telling you about new releases and bands and going through all of my musical memories and the stuff that I'm really into now. But for this video, I want to really break down and build on what I did on last week's video when I was saying that music fans are still supporting the CD and still buying a lot of them. And again, this is no disrespect to vinyl, but it's the fact that the press or any kind of media outlet talking about physical media just talks about vinyl, vinyl, vinyl and no one. And the CD is so uncool that no one would buy one anyway. Well, as I saw last week when I did that video, we saw that Metallica, for their album, had sold 15,873 CDs and 6,292 vinyl albums. And Ed Sheeran, totally different demographic, different genre, had sold 41,122 CDs and 8,000 vinyl albums. Now, for both of those artists, I think the vinyl album was in was about £45-ish. And so that was very much more expensive than the twelve ninety nine CD. So did that have a bearing? Now, for this week's um, album, number one in the UK album charts, it's Lewis Capaldi, you know, 26-year-old super pop star who's you know very very popular in fact his album which has gone straight in at number one this week called broken by desire to be heavenly sent is the biggest selling album in the uk so far this year and it has sold ninety five thousand eight hundred and eighty two copies to get to number one out of that physical sales were seventy nine thousand one hundred and forty seven this will be coming up on the screen over here. Now, if we break that down into CDs and vinyl, Louis Capaldi sold a whopping 58,421 CDs. Literally nearly 60,000 of those physical sales were CDs. Vinyl was 18,308. Now, the price difference here is not as extreme as Ed Sheeran or Metallica. Um, Lewis's album is about twenty six ninety nine, and as I talk now, I'll show you one of the versions that's come out. This, there was five thousand copies of what you can see on the screen now, which is like a picture disc with a splatter vinyl effect, and it's very very cool design. It looks great, and you can see that as it turns over, it's got an even different design on the other side. There were five thousand of these, and they've all sold out. The other copies, you could also get um, signed copies as well by Lewis. They were the same price. And the vinyl album itself, because my younger son's bought it, comes with a massive um, album-sized um, booklet with photographs and, um, well, primarily the lyrics and a few photographs as well. But it's a substantial book. So over twenty six ninety nine. So I don't think the price was that much of a driver in this case, um, because the price difference between CD and vinyl was not that far apart, and it sold nearly 60,000 copies on CD. Now, the other thing I want to just think about this, how, you know, younger music fans, you want to be, in the, you want to be on the winning side. You want to be on the club that seems to be the one where all the, cool, all the cool guys are. And there is very little out there telling you that the CD is a cool item to buy, or is the, it's all about vinyl, isn't it? But regardless of that, the CD outside outsold vinyl yet again. Now, if this had been the other way round, if this album had sold 60,000 vinyl copies and 18,000 CDs, that would have been in the news, wouldn't it? That would have been in The Guardian. Music Week would have done a feature on that. In fact, if I'd talked about the 
Ed Sheeran album and Metallica and reversed the sales figures to say it was vinyl that sold the higher amount, that would have been in the news. That would have been everywhere. And the fact that the CD has outsold vinyl again, and this time with an album that came with all the bells and whistles, fancy pressings, book album-sized booklets, still didn't come anywhere near the sales of the CD. Now, I'm not in any way in this video saying that it's because CD's better or it's because CD's leading the way. What I'm trying to put across with these is the fact that it's physical media um, and it doesn't matter what format it is. It's a niche. It's about 14, 15% of the overall album market. But for the UK album market overall, physical sales are really, really important. The singles chart, it's nearly all uh, sales um, you know, based on streams, you know, sales equivalent streams is singles and tracks. But albums are nearly always driven by physical sales. And those physical sales are becoming more, as if you look at the cake, the biggest slice is CD and then there's vinyl. But I think, you know, this is more evidence that it's time just to let go of this preconception that CD is dead or no one buys it or no, it's not cool. Because Lewis Capaldi has got a very different audience and demographic than Metallica. Um, it's probably obviously closer to Ed Sheeran, but again, even still, you know, this is a massive selling album. You would have thought, and I bet the marketing people um, behind some of these labels are probably thinking, well, I didn't expect that. Good job they pressed enough CDs, is it not? Um, so the, the, But actually, the album chart this week, I'll just touch, it's actually got a bit of rock and roll in it. Um, Def Leppard are in at number four um, with their um, Drastic Symphonies album. And that's sold, um, what was it, 10,183 sales. And I bet you that's nearly all on CD with a, with a you know, sprinkling of vinyl as well, really. And Ghost are in there as well. So it's great to see them in there with their covers EP. And Yes are also in the charts as well. And so is Paul Simon at number 28. Um, yes, they're in at number 30. And uh, I'll be reviewing the Yes album very, very soon as well. In fact, the Paul Simon one's really good. Uh, that's well worth a listen. It's very, very different. It's all been put together as one long track. But anyway, I hope you found that useful. So if you're like me and you're just, you're multi-format man and you like to buy what you like to buy, you know, so day-to-day -day stuff, you'll buy CD and then it's a special release. Hmm, maybe I'll go for the final. That's what music fans are doing across the across the age band as well. Uh, oh, and for that, because I sometimes get people say, oh, it's all over and no one buys physical media. It doesn't matter. I mean, you know, I know that the people who watch this channel, what, visit the website. There's a hundred and I think I had nearly 140,000 visits last month to naspinning.co.uk. And um, a lot of people love to have the physical music in their hands and physical album sales for last week was 337,063 14.14% of the overall album sales so absolutely superb so thank you for watching thank you for being here please ring that little bell so you don't miss out on any future videos become a patron join YouTube um, and remember music is the healer and the doctor so keep spinning those records and I shall see you very, very soon.